finally finished Flossie's birthday present. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is in this box? It's been something that's been worked on for six months. Some top of the line technology for a tech guy. He's a friend of mine. Wanted to bless him. Let's see how he feels about it. Flossy, 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 Flossy Carter, Flossy, Flossy, Flossy's gonna need a team, the Medusa. I've got Flossy, Flossy will beat me up. So much gold, huh? Flossy Carter. Every day is party night. Nice. A lot of gold, wow. Oh, it's working night. What you do? Stay tuned. Oh, he's running, he's running. Go to like Flossy's Instagram. Hey, where's the Flossy face, bro? Well, this is top secret. Nobody in the industry has done this. Those are real diamonds. Look at that Medusa. I was growing shrooms at one point. I ended up getting busted for this shit. He's Yes, I scare a lot of people. <laughs> a game changer for Flossy. It's gonna be the first technologically advanced piece of jewelry. Flossy piece that we're f***ing making. Some wild shit. That's what the jewelry business is all about. Sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. That's really what this show is about. If I could pull this business off or not. And you're gonna see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. So I'm deploying tactics to corner the jewelry business game. Could be marketing, could be TikTok, it could be anything. But there's a variety of things that I'm deploying. I haven't deployed them yet. I'm working on several super weapons, right? The way you want to think about it is like the art of war. But what does the warfare entail? Well, there's a lot. When you're far away, you want to make the enemy think you're close. When you're close, you want the enemy to think uh, that you're far away. One thing that they say in the art of war, it's very interesting, I never forgot it. So you got three horses, and then your opponent has three horses, and they're gonna race. You have your slow horse, your medium horse, and your fast horse. And your opponent has the, a slow horse, medium horse, and fast horse. Now his fast horse is faster than your fast horse. His medium horse is still faster than your medium horse, and his slow horse is faster than your slow horse. How are you gonna beat him? You're gonna put the slow horse against his fast horse, your fast horse against his medium, and your medium against his slow. That way you get him two out of three. Even though he has the superior ones, you still beat him because you took your low end and put it against his high end. His high end is wasted on your low end and your medium destroys his slow and your fast destroys his medium. And that's tactics, you know what I'm saying? That's really what it is. But that's the state of mind you want to think in, in, in that dimension. And we're deploying that. I've got Flossy. You know, 21st century technology applied to jewelry, something new, a, a serious stunt on the rappers and then I'm gonna ask him to go on Joe Rogan and see if he could them um, uh, even you know wearing the piece and whatever you'll see that when you see it Flossie, Flossie Carter is a he's a electronics guy he's into like cell phones he does like these amazing cell phone reviews he's very entertaining but he's also very knowledgeable okay. go to like Flossie's Instagram there's a photo of him look at that should I wear pearls look at Flossie look at all his rings God, look, damn. He's getting... <laughs> oh, that... look he's got everything he's got them on his fingers He's got him on his wrist, he's got him on his neck. You know, people like to talk about how much they're wearing, like how much value in that that they're wearing. That's a lot of value. Yeah. If those I mean, are real diamonds, I mean, that's kind of be a Because I've heard dollars. guys, I don't know, it could have been. Look at that Medusa. I knew how the hell they were going to make it happen, and that's what it came up with. Obviously, from concept, it never translates to what the finished product should be. Honestly, I look like, like from one of the Disney characters <laughs> from, uh, well, you know, that looks like the face from uh, the, the evil villain from Little Mermaid, but she's fat. But here she's like skinny. I don't know. Uh, what's really her name? Her. Ursula. Ursula's young. Really, right, right? <laughs> That's Ursula's uh, uh, sister. All right, yeah. gentlemen, I really need to close the company. I was dying on Saturday. I'll show you what I got. I so my boy Jeff at Fitness Equipment Empire he wants to get his logo done. You want to get buff? Let's show what we're doing. Exactly. You hit up Jeff. Fitness Equipment Empire. Anyway, look, this is his logo. This is what we want to get done. He already got it done with another jeweler, but... This is not Trax MIC. This, this is not Trax MIC, you know? So, we're going to reinvent it. We're going to make it with purple diamonds, and we're about to go crazy. So right now, we just got the castings back. We're doing a pre-polish, and then, uh, what? We just, me and Ivan got the diamonds yesterday, purple diamonds. We're going to get a set right now, all right? So he's working hard over there? He's working real hard over there. <laughs> Thank you.
I gotta go up there and talk about uh, Flossie's piece, bro. Flossie Carter, it wants to go super hard, super heavy on a serious piece, man. We're, we're gonna really, we're gonna really make a, a, a stand with this, but this is gonna take forever to make. Yeah, so I was like, um, I was talking to Arthur, I'm like, figure out the cost for, uh, cost for this. I'm right. like, bro, lay out all the stones. I cannot figure out the, how many. Don't worry, Flossie's were ready to roll, bro. Let's just ice it out and we'll see what's up. But we're gonna ice out the snakes too. Yeah. And yeah, no, like I'm trying to figure out the, like they want me to figure out the, the cost with the weight of diamonds and I'm like, I told my CAD designer, I'm like, bro, lay out the diamonds everywhere. You don't need to put the prongs. Cause I know that it's more consuming. The time consuming is to lay, put the prong. Lay out an estimation of the diamonds all over the, 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 the snake everywhere i like to be accurate like i, I don't want i don't like to give a, a quick estimation like that like you know it's kind of gets gets me kind of pissed but i'm gonna convince them to lay it out then i could give a a, a, a more proper estimation of the, of the cost i don't know if they're gonna use whatever fits because in between i don't know if he's gonna use smaller diamonds obviously they're gonna use smaller diamonds how can i estimate from this I'm not gonna give a, 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 a estimation like this. I might be completely off. I don't like to be off. I don't like to be off. It's 100 grams of 14 karat solid gold. This pen is really a one of one. I don't know who's done this. The way that the customer and I really came down to detail with this is absolutely amazing. Shout out to my bro right there. Came together real nicely, bro. No it doubt. Was. I was actually, I was growing shrooms at one point, yo, and uh, ended up getting busted for this shit. I was supposed to actually get this shit uh, like a couple years back, and then shit went downhill, but Fucking couple years later, you know, came up again and two years later. That's what's up. And you know I had to be the one to do it, Tracks NYC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy is here. Is it normal? Or is it a break, as always? No. Me and Roy are about to go to war. No, I'm just kidding. It's all right. Yes, I scare a lot of people. That's good. It's good to it's good to keep people on edge. <laughs> they put you in charge of uh, silver over here? Yeah, we have Okay, good. Make sure the profit margins are fair. You know, all this production stuff. So far, so good. Our business is doing all right. Everything's doing good. This is the, the, the core of the operation. I've been in here for a very long time. There used to be a wall right over here. We took that shit down. So now my task is, we got the little litter box. I mean, I told her to get a good one, but I guess this is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, Cooper. I, I, yeah, they come in here. The cats are gonna come in here and they're gonna live. Один доллар новый сюда не придет. Мне надо серьезные ревью, серьезные продукты, серьезные мысли вкладывать. Поэтому, если этого не будет, это будет страшно. Just like Cooper says. Cooper boy! Cooper boy! Yeah, alright, okay. And this is the bail, and this is this, and this is that. All right, start casting. This is, let's start casting. This is white gold, the head, right? We were gonna try to do the snakes. So I'm uh, half. Every other one is gonna be the one, but we're gonna see. Um, I'm thinking of doing this. Oh, this being rose gold, and then we could do some white rhodium on it. Yeah, let's do this rose gold 14 carat. Let's do this white gold 14 carat. Well, this one over here on the right side, I guess, is gonna be white gold if this is rose gold. Rose gold, white gold, white gold. And then the snakes, you can uh, yeah alternate between them. Since this is gonna be rose gold, the bale will be white gold. Because we want to kind of mix it up and see what happens there.
Vipers, you name it, we got it, bro. So, let's clean these fuckers up real quick. Let's just start doing that, and uh, I guess we'll have Eric do that shit, right? Okay, so we'll have Eric clean and polish and, and prep everything that's ready to roll. All these spruces, all of this stuff, and then we're going to sit here and start installing the electronics and setting the stones and so on and so forth. Probably try to reprint this shit. Because if this snake worked, why didn't this one? Let's get these pieces reprinted. Show with CAD CAM, uh, Mickey, where I'm, uh, where we have the weak points so they could fortify them. And this we're going to go to take to Eric. Because i got to feed the cat anyway, so let's just go take it to Eric and um, I'll, I'll have him start cleaning it, right? Hi guys, it's Isabella from Tracks NYC, back here today with a beautiful women's pendant collection. We have any kind of color um, gold you would like. We have yellow gold, rose gold, two-tone, white gold. Check out these gorgeous diamonds we have. The beautiful butterflies and hearts. And these are all starting at $1,300. You can come into the store at 64 West 47th Street. You can live chat us or you can directly message me at Tracks Isabella on Instagram. Thank you so much. Eric, do you have any snakes for me? Oh. Snake is a white snake. Snake This came out good. Casting came out solid. Yes, sir. I like this. The number one thing to, to keep in mind is the texture on the snakes over here. It's it's not bad. It's alright. I mean, I could see it. Basically, he's we did we we cast it. We cast him so far. Eric's gonna tumble and polish. We've had there's some problems with the casting. Some parts a little hollow and stuff. So Eric right now is upstairs. He's cleaning everything, doing a tumble, a little pre-polish. He's gonna see what's good, the pieces of the casting we can use already. And then whatever is bad, we're gonna take back to CAD CAM, see what we can do, probably reprint and recast. But uh, we already know this was one piece we just wanna redo a little bit. Just right here, stuff like this. While, while it's getting casted, it's like exploding a little bit. And then there's holes in the piece, you don't want that. And then Eric was also just saying, like if you see the casting, it's fading on the scales a little bit. Mm -hmm. He was just saying, see if they could make the scales a bit deeper. That way when they polish and clean it up, the detail's still gonna be there. Uh, Cause it might like fade off a little bit. And you don't want that on a piece like this. So we're gonna see if CAD cam is there. We also have just a couple more rose pieces. He just wanted to kind of fix up the details on the scales of these ones also. Um, so more problems with the rose casting so far. Shouldn't be a real problem. We're just gonna go to Arthur, see what he can do. And uh, yeah, and we'll wait for Eric to see whatever is good from, from his batch. Uh, uh Scarlett Johansson, no. Black Widow. That's her name, right? Scarlett Johansson? Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, you, you copy it Where's the faucet face, bro? You wanna see it? We got the head portion of the Medusa. We gotta make sure that all the mechanism in the back, we gotta make sure everything is working properly, so, and see if the lights shows properly. Like, for example, look, look. Like, so this is top secret. Nobody in the industry has done this. We're gonna be the first one. to this buck converter and it's powering the LEDs. So this is just kind of like proof of concept. We know it's gonna work now. Now my job is to just make everything a little uh, more consolidated. So we got a lot of slack here between this and this. Uh, I'm actually just gonna delete the USB and hardwire it. And then I think I can take this box out. We're gonna put this QR code on the bottom of the jewelry piece so you can just scan it and then uh, we're gonna shorten it right here. We're not gonna need maybe all these lights, but we're gonna try to get as many as we can in there. So uh, next step is just to get this a little tidier. Six is not that 
the far, bro. We gotta two order. The it doesn't matter. We order it we anyway, but we still look for something else. Yeah. So, I mean, help me out. It's only Dorsey that's gonna be able to pull this off, bro. For the, for for only Goob you for 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 this flossy piece that we're making some wild shit. Some wild, just with this, just with this on it. Oh, yes. We gotta ice out the mouths of the snakes that are holding stones, bro. Yeah, we're gonna set stones in this. I mean, there's more things we could be doing. We're gonna set stones in the eyes as well. You could really, you know, hand engrave some of these pieces, but that's gonna be a hell of a lot of work. And um, uh, Flossie's already, uh, already wants his piece. So we're gonna do as much as we can to dope it up. Diamonds in the eyes, diamonds in the mouth, and technology behind it. So in, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be arrogant, but they think I can't make any jewelry and my jewelry is whack. That's what they think. Because, you know, my staff is making stuff, the operation is making stuff or this, and I got to sit here and I got to show the rappers as well. Even, you know, uh, even Chief Keef hit me up once. And he was like, you know, just talking business or talking whatever, but I appreciate that. Because I know he watched maybe something and learned something and appreciated me to some degree. A lot of people do, and then I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the love. Because I don't appreciate people that watch my shit, learn from my shit, and go shop somewhere else and, and don't do business here. I don't appreciate that. And rightly so. I'm not crazy, am I? Hit me up, you sent me his NFT, wanted to get it done. So here it is, we got it. Iced out with the teeth, like he's got some grills. And then we're gonna enamel the whole thing. This is the NFT right here. It's gonna be all colors, huh? Yeah, everything's gonna be have colors. Even the, the top part, everything. This is another custom coming out of tracks when I see extraordinary attention to detail. No one's gonna do custom projects for you like we do, all right? So if you wanna know how to start a custom project, you have to get a personal jeweler with a factory behind them to uh, make that happen. We've got one of the most sophisticated factories in the diamond district. Here's two personal jewelers that made this happen. How much for a piece like this? Something like this is going for around 7,500. All right, 7,500 is a fantastic deal for something custom made with the enamel, with the coins in the eyes, with the attention to detail. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, just stop thinking you could get it cheaper from some other jeweler or some other shit. We're building a sophisticated business. I don't know who's watching this, I don't know where they're watching this. I've been doing this for 17, 18 years and counting. And uh, I've seen the jewelry business a thousand different ways. What we've done now is we've got young guys, uh, Anoop also made something right here. They got young guys, people come to them. How much was this piece of it? This one was 6,500. 6,500. They come to them with a budget and they have the skills and they have the technology and the 3D printer and the model makers and, and the network to sit here and make your piece happen. That's that's what I do, you know? Um, I built a factory and I built a team and these guys can build a jewelry. You also got this crazy piece. The moral of the story is it doesn't matter the budget. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at some moron with a big thing and you're thinking that's the jewelry stop thinking that it's annoying it's annoying to read your mind is really what it is if you want to start a project while well, you got the chance and we got monster projects on our page and so on so if you want to start a project you could live chat a noob liam you could talk to them on the live chat you could call in 212-690-8729 Right, you could call in, you could ask for these guys, you could work with any custom jeweler that you want, or you could DM them on their IGs. And this is another monster piece. But what you're looking at, right, the, the price of a piece is dictated by the budget, how much materials they use. Someone has a $6,500 budget to make things happen, that's a different story. $65,000, they'll make you a piece this big. So if you're the type of guy or the type of moron that thinks that this is this and bigger this and that, stop watching this video and, and jump off a ledge somewhere. What you really want to do is you want to understand how this business works and you want somebody giving you the attention to detail and the quality with the, the access to the materials at the right prices. A lot of other jewelers, they don't got the prices or they're trying to make as much money as possible off of a piece. And I see these people dumping their money in there and getting garbage jewelry with corners cut. Maybe it's, you know, 
13 karat gold. Are you checking your gold? No, you're not. All right, whatever. I've said enough. You know how to do business and you know where the opportunities are. If you can't figure that out, throw your money right into a, uh, you know, an open pit and bury it. So bad. <laughs> the bail is on the back plate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Highest floor. You got the blunt right here. It's gonna be coming out of his mouth like that. It's me right there. <laughs> yeah, he was the back plate with the bail. Appreciate the business, bro. I'll be yeah, back. I'm coming down right now. Appreciate the business, not, dude. You, I, above, I was like, I'm hungry. They like ran to get pizza. Fantastic. I'm thirsty. Yeah. They ran to get Coke, Dr. Pepper, like the, the service. We tried. Zip I'm glad that they it's were doing the right thing. I don't want to buy jewelry from anyone else but him. This guy's a nice I'm guy. I'm buying jewelry when I come back. It's only from him. Well, I do business or you. with him. Well, listen, that's you us. Or him. Me and him are the same. That's it. This, we're part of one organization. I appreciate that and I respect that. This is not just, this will go, the pieces I got, they're going to my kids when I die. They're not, they're, I'm, they're never coming off my body until they go to my kids. And Fantastic. That's it. Well, that's, they, what, they're that's not, what it's all that's about. It. They're just, Jewelry's supposed to last for generations. No, it's not. It's to my kids. They do what they, they can sell it or keep it. It's up to them. I hope they keep it, bro. I hope so, too. Uh, nice doing okay. business with you. Basically, we already have the, like, the, the stones on the mouth and everything. So we, we're going to start setting, I mean, soldering the, we're going to start soldering the snakes on the side, right? So as we can see, this goes this way. We have the map too, so we're going to assemble, like, each snake on the, on the appropriate um, connection. And, but we're not gonna do it completely because we still gotta do a test with the lighting, right? I mean, it, well, we did a bunch of tests for like the past week. It worked pretty well. We're just figuring out how the battery life is one thing we're figuring out, how long it's gonna last. Um, it works through the Bluetooth perfectly. And then we're just gonna figure out how much of it we're actually gonna stuff in to get like the most light to come out. But the light was working. Tomorrow we should be finally getting the chip set. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the chip set for this piece. We're doing obviously something, a game changer for Flossie, like I promised him. So he's in the mix. And now I have to um, uh, get that chip set inside this piece of jewelry. It's going to be the first technologically advanced piece of jewelry ever that's going to be connected via Bluetooth to your phone. So we got the Flossy Carter piece. We did a bunch of tackiness. He wanted LEDs. He wanted the eyes to shine, so we're doing it for him. So we're just going to use an LED strip here. This is what the back looks like. We call this the gallery. Now he wouldn't be able to turn it on and off, so here's an on-off switch. You see it turns on, you push it twice, it goes off. It's rechargeable, it's a mini USB. We've got an 18650 battery here, 3000 mAh, it'll last forever on these. The light strip goes in here, plugs in right like that. Plug it in, turn it on and you're in business. This is all controlled Bluetooth through his cell phone. He can change whatever color, he can sync it to music, sync it to audio, uh, whatever he really wants to do. Again. Now this is what we were talking about, right? We're gonna cut um opal specifically on these um links right here. Now it shows opals because you know max uncut gems. I feel like that's the best way to go ahead and go about this. 
Also, I don't really like to steal people's drip. That's really what it comes down to as well. So I'm definitely not using pearls. I like how this lock came out. The mechanism is crazy. And it sits very well too. Okay, let's go. Are we going over there or what about Peter? What? What's up, man? Tracks NYC, we're here, man, for all your jewelry needs. Anything else you need, ladies? I'm here. Why, why, why are you not on the other side? I think I got punished. I'm out of the booth and I'm on punishment. Tracks punishment. Punishment? I'm dead on his bad side. So you like punished. You, you like a, a guard right now? Security. You step back, please, everybody. Step back. Arm security. Yeah, yeah. Opal so what happened with the opal? I'm gonna do only favor for you. You gonna you you're gonna cut it? Cause yeah. you are good. Okay. Do you have it here? Or no, you already? already no, no, it. I already you already gave it. You already gave it. Yeah. In. So okay. we gave it for cutting and polishing. It's gonna be done tomorrow, as a favor to you. So no additional charge at all. No charge for you. Okay, just because of me. That's That's it. What about because what about if it was uh, Max or Danny or Trax or? Whatever. I will charge like at least. 45, 45 no, no, 45. For okay, just time. because of me. Yes. Okay, That's because it. I got the key. I got the keys, No, he's running, he's running. Bye, bye. So, so I need you to do a test. So the test is gonna be this QR code on like on a plate first, right? And then if it works from this size, it has to be this size. If it works, just put it put it on. Hopefully, it works. Hopefully. So the real deal is, is this technology that we put in here. I get these lights. In whatever color outfit you're wearing that day, whatever mood you're in, you're angry. You know what I'm saying? You're hopeful, you're feeling good, you're feeling mellow, purple mellow, you know what I'm saying? When Flossie's on his off days, relaxing, he's gonna switch up the flow, switch up the lights, when he's stunting, I don't know, you know, when he's in Vegas doing his thing, whatever it is, we made it to be customizable, and it's the only one in the world that could do this. We made this to Flossie Carter with some special surprises, right? So we've got 850 grams, thereabouts of 14 karat gold, rose gold and white gold. You've got 45 carats of a variety of different size pointers, 50 pointers, huge, large. Some of these are even close to one characters in some cases. Vast sizes, vast diamonds, and some serious technology behind it as well. A USB port and this button right here. Press it once, you got the lights on, press it twice and you can turn them off. It's a monster. Wow. Wow. Look at this thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, hold it up. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh. I'm gonna need to get back in the gym with this piece right here. Oh yeah, y'all killed this one. The pictures definitely didn't do it the justice though. Okay, yeah. Now, now, what about when you want to turn it off? Okay, so you don't have to click the button to turn it off. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. When you want to fully turn it off to save the battery, then you gotta do the pimper. Okay, so double tap again. This way. You got one last assignment. Oh, we need to put up. the sticker on this one. If I take this one off, it's gonna be too late, though. We need to. Now, let me see. No, uh, you know, my white gloves. If I take them off, you know, it's a wrap. I got the track NYC glove, bro. This is gonna be a real unboxing, bro. Right, so this is the piece going away finally after all this time. Finally, yeah. the final send off with Flossie's crazy <laughs> car. <laughs> they put that in the back. Yup, this is what it's like to be in Flossie's machine right here. Oh, you got the stars in the ceiling? Oh, oh yeah, there goes it. Put that rev up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. This right. is Flossie's joint in Times Square. Turbos. It says, says Flossie on the dash. It's <laughs> definitely <laughs> something custom. Right? You see the floss on the dash, you already know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thousand horsepower, you know. We make a big deal about it. Let's just see, see what it sounds like. <laughs> I think we need to. Alright, 
Fossey, bro. It's been the fucking realest day of my life. Always, yeah. <laughs> Always a pleasure. And I'm saying yeah. I can't wait to see that review, bro. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it big, yeah. Boobity boobity schmoop.